Hi, my name is Kent from Living Light RV. And I'm Garrett from Diary of a Family. And we both got something. And the model number that I got, well, it came in this box, but I have a different camera at the back. So here we go. It's an MC7108. And what's inside this is first of all, all of the pieces to install this. User manual, okay, and here is the screen. That's what's gonna install inside of Bessie. A pretty nice heavy duty backup camera, powering it into the clearance light at the top. A wiring harness for this to be wired right into the system, or right in through a cigarette lighter, okay? and I think I'm gonna do the cigarette lighter option. This is an install piece so that this can be mounted to the dash. We got a few extra wires, a few knobs for securing this to the unit. Profile, I have the two antennas. Now, I'm also looking for something in this box that I hope they have, and that is the base with the magnet, and I do not see that. So that's what's inside the box. Okay, so while I was helping Garrett on his Halo unit, I was thinking, how am I gonna install mine? So I took the plate that can install the screen right to the the dash and I modified it and I turned it 90 degrees so now I can mount this this direction onto the side of my dash and have this fit into the slot correctly we're ready to do the install on our screen and then I will be installing the camera on the very back of the unit using a, a metal square and a magnet and that way I only have to power the unit and I'm done. I'm taking off the light housing to gain access to 12 volts and that's about the last thing I need to do. So the next thing I'm working on is the backup camera. I wanna get this thing powered up. This goes in here. There we go, power and now it's on. But the problem is there's no camera attached. So what I'm supposed to be able to do is turn on that switch over there, which is my accessories, which is my upper lights, and that's supposed to power that camera. But no go. So I gotta get power to that camera a different way. So that's why I haven't had this working since Quartzsite. Yeah, I know, it's been a while. All right, so I went up on the roof, found the camera, and still couldn't make the signal connect. So I didn't think there was enough power going to this camera, so I'm gonna, right now, connect it to power inside the coach, 12 volts. Okay, now if I hook up black to black and red to red, I should get a signal. All right, three, two, one. Hey, say hi. Hey, how you doing, guys? <laughs> I'm halfway installed. All I gotta get to this is power. All right, I think I've stumbled upon the answer. I took power from the top of the coach and nothing happened. So now I have taken power from the running lights down by the brake lights and I've got power coming through now. So now I'm going to run power from there a little farther away from it to where I actually want the camera to sit and I'll be all done. Looks like I've got her done. I opened this up. I tested it. I figured out which one I had power to come from and hold that power so that it's on every time I turn on the clearance lights, which is when I'm driving. Put this power through here and I connected it now to 
the camera. So now I have to just put tape all over that and click it in place. So the idea of a backup camera is to be able to see what's behind you when you're driving. So turn on the clearance lights, Kent. And there you have it. Backing up into a spot. Look at that. Look, on the ferry. So pretty simple install. A little bit of thinking of how I was going to do it. A little bit of overcoming. I'm looking at the halo view and everything's working. It's great. Actually sound and that's a little bit weird too. Uh, but I can see our bikes. And I can see our bikes. And yeah, I can still see our bikes. And I can see our bikes. I think I'm going to be doing everything I can to angle it so that it actually looks and sees the vehicle behind me. So that's what I'll do. I've got the Allen key ready to go. It's going to be a good day. Travel day. Continue on US 101 North for 13 miles.